Well, remote working is a lifestyle that many workers and employees have embraced ever since COVID and lockdown forced some folks to turn their homes into office space. And it looks like the idea of working from home may be here to stay. Our next guest, entrepreneur Sylvia Mochini, has been ahead of the curve when it comes to remote working. She's figured out how to make the process easier for businesses and employees, especially women. Sylvia joins us now. Good morning. Buenos dias. Sylvia, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I can't, I can't hear you, Sylvia. Um, the last time I did this, someone gave me a notepad and paper. Are you muted? Are you muted, maybe? Did you mute during weather? There oh, you are. my God. There yes, she is. Good morning to you. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Your sunny disposition is all we need. Thank you for joining us. I want to get right into this because I think your story and what you do is very interesting. So, a little bit of background. In 2012, you started your company, Transparent Business. Fantastic name, by the way. And it, it focuses on helping companies organize and manage remote workers. What inspired you to target remote working back in 2012? Well, as Eric Smith, the former CEO of Google said once, scarcity breeds clarity. And back at that time, we were undergoing a crisis. I was living in Europe, in Verona precisely, and I needed to manage my team that was uh, highly remote because I have people in Argentina, my home country, in the United States, in Canada, in Mexico and I need to do it more efficiently. So I developed a software to manage this team that will bring transparency and help me coordinate the team members no matter where they were. So it came up as a solution to a problem that I have. And as you know, entrepreneurs, we're always looking to solve problems. And this was a problem that I believe that was going to be a problem shared by many other people, many entrepreneurs. And I was not expecting COVID, but right. it came suddenly enorm. Right, and you had you already had this blueprint because as an entrepreneur you realized that your talent didn't necessarily come from the five people in front of you that they would be worldwide. So you were you were like a clairvoyance. You knew that this was going to be the wave of the future. However, you didn't stop there. You're also the founder and CEO of SheWorks and that company helps connect companies and women in the remote workforce worldwide. So tell us exactly what that means and how your company helps empower women. Absolutely, and I believe that talent has no gender, but women has been left behind for many years because uh, for women it's quite challenging to balance personal life and work. And I uh, found a solution to that issue, which is basically helping companies to hire these women without frontiers and with flexible models. So we launched SheWorks, and SheWorks is a platform that brings together women from all over the world and connect them with companies that want to hire them remotely using transparent business technology to have full visibility and coordinate effectively the, the remote team. So it's just basically eliminating the barriers that separate the talent from women from the opportunities that are out there of many companies that they openly say that they want to hire women, but they don't know how to find them. Right. I love this because exactly what you just said. And also for women, many of whom were disproportionately affected by the pandemic who are, you know, left the workforce or coming back for the work for, to the workforce or trying to pivot and create a new way. I think this is an excellent way to bring those two things together. So thank you for doing that on behalf of, of women everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely my pleasure. So last year you became the first Latin American woman to lead a unicorn. For those of you keeping score at home, a unicorn is a privately held business valued at a billion dollars or more. It's the face of money right there. It makes sense that you would launch a streaming show called Unicorn Hunters. Uh, tell us what the show is about and what makes it different than other shows out there. Well, it again came as a, um, an idea to solve a problem that I have for me as an entrepreneur, as a woman, as a Latina, I was challenging to raise funds. So I raised uh, money leveraging the power of people. And I learned how to do it using the Shops Act. And when I launched Unicorn Hunters, I wanted to give the same opportunity to many women entrepreneurs, many diverse entrepreneurs out there that are seeking for, manager, uh, for money. So what it makes it different is a show in which we combine entertainment, education, highly selected and vetted companies that has potential to become super big and enabling an interactive way 
people on the other side of the screen to invest in these companies starting at $1,000. So they can invest when they are still small enough so they can make a huge difference when the companies go public. I mean, that sounds too simple. I know it's not, but who are some of the heavy hitters in that circle of money? Because <laughs> I, I saw some famous faces there. I, I was extremely, extremely lucky to have this idea uh, pitch to Steve Wozniak, the mm -hmm. founder of, of Apple, to Rossi Rio, the former treasurer of the United States, to Lance Bass from NSYNC, and to many other very, very influential um, investors and industry experts, including Mo Bellak, who used to run uh, the uh, administration for the White House and Craig Plestis, who is executive producer of uh, The Mass Singer and one of the number mm -hmm. one producers in And, there, uh, in and then, then there was Lance Bass, all the way at the right. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. Lance so, is also one of our uh, unicorn hunters. Well, I have to know, because someone of your success, an entrepreneur, what was your very first job that you got paid to do? <laughs> I worked for the president of Argentina in protocol. So that was like back, back, back. Many years ago. I won't tell you how many. Well, that is a very, was a long time that was ago. an excellent, very, very excellent first job. My first job was, I think I had a paper route with my sister. Sylvia, congratulations on everything that you continue to do. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. You are very welcome and thanks for the opportunity of joining you. Absolutely. Head over to Sylvina's website and check out the next episode of Unicorn Hunters. Sheesh. Some people, I feel like, are just born for that kind of thing. Well.